afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure. It's day number four of the BAU 2023 in Munich. And it's an honor and a pleasure to have with me Emma Green from IQ Glass, our exclusive partner in the UK. Yeah. And it's a brilliant idea that you came with us and you will explain me the booth and I will ask you some questions and vice versa. Yeah. So let's make some fun out of it, Emma. Yeah, brilliant. No, great to be here. Wouldn't have missed it. So thanks for having us. I'm Emma, company director at IQ Glass. IQ Glass, what is IQ Glass? Can you give us a brief explanation? What are you doing? Yeah, so we're a architectural glazing company that specialise working with some of the top specifiers all over the UK. Um, we work on lots of high-end residential and commercial projects across the UK and internationally as well. Um, we do a lot of work in the Caribbean um, and, and other areas, so that's, that's what we do. As, as you're our exclusive partner from Keller Minimal Windows, uh, we are providing sliders. Yeah. Um, can you explain together with uh, us, the audience, a little yeah. bit what is so interesting in your business and yeah. together with Keller? Keller absolutely lends itself to every project that we mm. do. Um, architects and specifiers in general are always looking to achieve maximum transparency so mm -hmm. the minimal window system is perfect for that mm -hmm. minimal frames you can go to huge sizes you've got all of the flexibility in the world in what you do in the design and the trust that a company like keller german engineered a system that works and looks beautiful so it's lovely yeah so, so your experience since a long time on keller products yeah yeah you've installed here on the booth existing and the new version yeah on the existing one what what is your favorite yeah on the existing one so i mean we've worked with the minimal window system for many many years now and we absolutely love it on every project mm. it is the um the minimal profiles at the base okay. that lend itself it's the high performance so we know that we can use a slim frame sliding door system in some of the most exposed mm -hmm. environments mm -hmm. in the whole of mm -hmm. the uk mm -hmm. so coastal projects in the southwest of the country we can still use such a beautiful minimal system and i've seen it quite a decent amount of projects with integration in a slider a pivot absolutely. door absolutely yes yeah. absolutely and it's one of my favorite details yeah. so the great thing about the minimal window solution is it's interchangeable with lots of different opening styles so you can have a pivoting door that meets a sliding door yeah. you can have sliders meeting fixed. I just assist you when you talk to open the door so that yes. you can explain this by that <laughs> absolutely okay. so this is a great example of that here so here we've got a huge four meter tall elevation of glass incorporating a pivoting door element here. The great thing, I've, I've mentioned some of the harsh environments that we work in in the UK. And one of the brilliant things about this system in particular is that not only can you achieve a minimal framed pivoting door system with a completely flush threshold, we've integrated um, a magnetic base sill across the bottom of the door so that even in the most exposed environments where you receive high levels of driving rain, the magnetic base sill at the bottom will come up to meet the base of the door and protect the inside of the, the building from water. So that's a really important thing from a, a functional and performance perspective. But equally, how slim it is, a minimal pivot door with mm -hmm. just 21 millimeters of frames, incredible. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we also provide, I mean, the pivot door is now closing and when the pivot door is closed you don't see the difference between the area of the yeah. pivot door the fixed field and the slider yeah. is this something you say it's it's something very interesting for the architect and absolutely. the client absolutely yeah yeah absolutely i mean the level of consistency and uniformity in yeah. particular that you can get across a whole elevation of glass is so important so if you're stood back looking at the building you don't have big handles or big profiles mm -hmm. jumping out at you and telling yeah, you yeah. i'm an opening element you have a yeah. wall of glass exactly. that's exactly. completely uniform exactly. I mean, I mean, here now we integrated also in the existing series uh, the LED strip. Yeah. Um, is there any purpose or is it just fancy looking? No, there, there are purposes. So a lot of clients and architects will want to use that as an ambient lighting technique. Okay. So okay. in the daytime, you have the lighting coming from either vertical interlock sections mm -hmm. or horizontally at either the top or oh, the bottom. They're, they're on top, you have also the ambient lighting. Exactly. Okay. So um, yeah. it's important from a functional perspective, but equally a lot of people just think, well, it looks exactly. great. So but sliders are just useful in the ground floor area. 
or? No, absolutely not. So this is a great example here. You can use the minimal window system up multiple levels. On upper levels, you can integrate a balustrade solution like you've got here. So this is a thread supported balustrade solution to create a Juliet balcony on upper levels so that you can incorporate these really slim, minimal sliding opening elements but you have that protection from fallout there as well. So this is a tested balustrade solution that allows you to take the yeah, same yeah, system yeah. up all levels of a, of a property. As I'm German, I'm, of course, I always have to ask whether it's tested and certified and everything like that. Yeah. Does this have on DIBT approval? It does, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So everything that Minimal Windows is about is about making sure that it's tested to the highest standards okay. Okay. by the right people. Okay. And But normally in this kind of uh, test, you request this kind of edge protection I don't see any edge protection what is the purpose yeah is it approved or exactly why was it chosen like that yeah it's absolutely approved one of the most frustrating things when you've got a beautiful building filled with minimal framed glazing is to have a balustrade okay. solution okay. with a metal capping on the top you're sat on your balcony you're looking out exactly. and it's right yeah. in, in your eye line so yeah. it's a fully tested solution using the right la uh, laminates and interlayers to make sure that you don't need that capping yeah. you have the same tested fallout protection yeah, yeah, and yeah. you don't have anything in your eye line yeah, exactly. it's all completely transparent and minimal you mentioned that uh, the pivot door is so interesting to combine it yeah the one we have seen is integrated with glass would you be interested in another pivot door solution yeah absolutely so solid entrance doors with different styles have become really 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 popular and one of the nicest things about the the Keller minimal window system is that you can integrate a solid pivot door using the same magnetic weather sill that we've seen okay, at the base okay. as a whole solid wall yeah, in any design yeah. that you choose with a completely invisible opening element okay. that allows you access to the property. The lovely part is when we had uh, our chat together, you're coming from, from UK, so close yeah. to London. Together with Saha, did architects in London yeah. and Fabian Hacker, we have all had brainstorming about yeah. what is the ideal entrance door. Yeah. A normal entrance door is visible as a door. Exactly. The advantage of a pivot door? Is that it can it disappear into a wall. Okay. You can create a beautiful wall making features of something like this. The sort of slatted finishes are really, really popular okay. now. Okay. Different types of materials. You can create a beautiful wall with a completely invisible opening element within it. You okay. don't have to have something that when you're stood back looking at the building looks like the entrance door mm -hmm, you can have mm -hmm. a wall with a, a pivoting um, exactly. entrance within that so let's enter into the wall huh? yes let's absolutely. try to find it out and please follow us huh? ladies first thank you so this store is massive it's huge what, yes what, what is the height of it This is four meters. Four, four meters. meters tall. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Approximately 350 kg in weight. Yeah, about that. And you can barely feel it. The the yeah. pivot mechanism is so smooth. It takes a lot of the weight of the door. So there's a feeling of weight behind it, but it's really easy to move. It's easy to okay. operate, and it okay. feels nice, okay. which is really important. Lovely. We have talked about that uh, concept door. We have now been entering the interior of the booth. Yeah. Uh, showing you the existing series on sliders. Yeah. What we have seen. Brilliant. This is the so-called 4 plus version. Yeah. And just in prep work for the presentation of the new series. Um, the major difference, Emma, um, is that here you have a threshold which is almost zero millimeters. Exactly. Also LED integrated instead of the LED integration. Can we do something different? There's so many options. So you could use this type of freeway base solution to integrate the LEDs as you see. Right. You could integrate your floor finish to run that seamlessly okay. from inside so to out. So the granite from the inside can even be integrated as interlayers absolutely. here. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So as well as the invisible glass, you've yeah. got a completely invisible base detail. That's, that's lovely. Really neat. That's lovely. Really, yeah. really lovely. I mean, it's already pretty performing. It is uh, in, in engineering terms 450 pascal water ties. Yeah. It's close to roughly 80, 90 kilometers per hour storm yeah. with a, a massive of rainforest. Yeah. This is pretty good for a slider. Yeah. Um, Brilliant. But what you hear 
when you slide. I mean, you might not hear it at home, but when you hear it, you hear molesting the yeah. sound of a slider. You hear the motion of the slider, which comes from the brush seals integrated into okay. the base detail. Yeah. But you hear that motion. You hear that brushing along at the base. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now it's a good point in time that we just move to the new yeah. next generation slider. Absolutely. The slider here we have seen goes up to 4.5 meters. Yeah. Up to one ton of glass can be really yeah. integrated in one leaf. The new system, what is the performance of the new system? The performance of the new yeah. system in terms of weight. I mean, this here is 400 kilos. Yeah, yeah. You can take it up to huge heights. I mean, even in our showroom, we've installed a door that's six and a half meters tall. Exactly, tool. exactly. So you can yeah. do an awful lot with it. The weight of this is about 400 kilos, but it, it doesn't feel like that. The movement's really, exactly, really Exactly, exactly. And you can move even 1.5 tons yeah. by one leaf, which yeah. is also massive. Four tracks. It's incredible, yeah. The Series we have seen, more or less, is 4.5 meters. Yeah. It can open 72 square meters of wow. opening. Yeah. This one, when you combine it proper, you can open more than 110 square yeah. meters in one shot. Yeah. yeah, which is amazing. I mean, with a system like this as well, the changes that have been made have made it even more minimal. So yeah. the, the previous minimal window system is so slim, but this achieves 99% transparency. You've got the handle profiles recessed into the wall wow. and a glass to floor finish at the bottom, which yeah. is just... So you just see the interlock. Exactly. Nothing more than the interlock. Exactly, which is really, really special. I mean, a big question is, of course, if you want to make everything concealed, um, how, how can you grab the handle to open it? Yeah, so it's a really, really interesting detail. So usually in this sort of scenario where you're hiding the handle profile into the wall, you have to create a small recess in your wall finishes so that you can get your hand in to pull the door out. It looks messy, mm -hmm. architects don't like it, and it's a dirt trap, dust can get mm -hmm. trapped there. So this is a soft close system whereby you press a button on the wall, and there's a two-part motion that opens the door to a point where you can then open it manually okay. um, and allows you to fully recess the, um, the frame into okay. um, the wall as well. So. And the closing works in the same direction. You just go back until you get connection to the mechanism. Absolutely. And the nice thing is you feel that click, exactly, don't you? Exactly, exactly. You feel that exactly. it's, it's in the position and it's ready. And then you just press and hold and that will then shut seamlessly into the wall, leaving absolutely no visible frame whatsoever, completely flush down the side, which is really, really nice. Normally when you have this kind of sliders, you go to locations where it's beautiful views in the yeah. landscape close to lakes at the seaside. Yeah. At lakes, sometimes it's also an issue in the evenings that you have insects. Yeah. Is there an opportunity, a possibility to integrate something elegant yeah, as an insect? Screen? Absolutely. So let's go and have a look yeah. at that down here. So this is the system here. I'll um, just walk around to show you how this works. So exactly the same sort of mechanism here. The door um, closes into the wall and this is the fly screen option. So here we've got a four meter height and that allows us to take the fly screen to about a meter wide. Okay. And it's completely integrated in the system and it's really easy yeah. to operate and also in, in maintains cases very, very simple and easy to maintain. That's exactly it. And it's on yeah. a friction type mechanism. So wherever yeah. you leave the fly yeah. screen, yeah. it will stay there. You can position it wherever you want. Completely housed within that profile that's hidden within the wall so really really neat solution and if you want to go slightly wider if you're at about a 3.2 meter height you can take it you to can two take meters it wide. wider even yeah absolutely yeah and so it's, it's tested under wind loads i mean the highest class is three with 56 kilometers per hour exactly but it was really tested up to 90 kilometers per hour's wind speed even yeah. then nothing happens yeah to the flying insect screen and it's so rare that you can get such a beautiful yeah. system yeah. with all of these detail yeah. options actually performs so well yeah, so yeah. I love brilliant. transparency I love this 99.3 percent transparency yeah but I'm a, a shoe addicted yeah a little bit shoe addicted yeah and in this case also it's lovely to have this kind of full transparency but sometimes it could happen if you don't take care yeah that you have a kind of issue yeah yeah I mean you can have a solution absolutely it's not an issue at all and this is a great example of that here 
So the new system incorporates a really, really nice, completely level threshold detail, whereby you leave only about 20 to 25 millimeters for one small rail at okay. the bottom. Create a seamless finish, running your floor finish all the way through, and there's no trip hazard or anything at all. That's you can great. walk that's, over that's it great. and that's yeah. Great. Normally we say 500 kilogram one leaf. Think on motorization. Um, there's a trend at the moment for telescopic moves. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a great example of that. You see how the doors move together. The first panel, the lead panel, moves at twice the speed. So they shut at the same time. Okay. It's really unusual to find that. You usually have a, a, quite a staggered mechanism where you're picking up the next panel. It feels much slower. This is a really well-engineered mm -hmm. solution. Mm -hmm. Really, really moves nicely. But now let's go into the details. Let's yes. enter the golden box together. Absolutely. Please, the audience, enter as well. Yeah, so this is a great example here of the motors and the new smart sliders. So we can start with the bottom here, the smart slider. Mm -hmm. What's so special about it? How have we... Normally, I mean, wh when the leaf is getting so huge, six meters with a new system, yeah. three meters in width, 18 square meters. Yeah. Of course, the leaf during the summer period is elongating due to thermal Absolutely. situation. The question is, when you lock the leaf, is more the locking bolt at the right position when the leaf is, is in the closing position. Yeah. If this is uh, not easily handled, a mechatronic solution is giving definitely the answer. Yeah. And you just want to show it like here. Uh, yeah. So am I showing there. you the details of it? Just move further. It's that crocodile section there. You can here, see. normally the interlock is fixed to and then it's opening and closing via the movement of the belt. And in this case, the mechanism closes and finds the right position. Every tooth you see has the purpose, whether it's elongated or shrinked in this huge dimension, it fits the right locking point. Yeah. Okay. Now we have two versions. This is more or less the smart slider side mounted. Yeah. The top slider we have just seen outside with a telescopic move. Yeah. Um, what is the major difference between these? Well, the great thing is a lot of architects nowadays are specifying curved sliding doors. They want mm -hmm. to do things that are different. And so what you'll notice is the orientation in which these run. Mm -hmm. If you see that there. Ah, okay, it's, it runs it in that runs direction. It runs the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So it allows you to create really interesting designs with curved large facades of glass that will run round and you can allow for automation in that situation as well. So okay. that's really special. Okay. That's lovely. A little bit of glimpse of the new system. Um, Emma, a question is always slim slide, no frame, nothing visible. Yeah. How do we make the drainage there? Yeah, I mean, drainage is really important. Obviously, we're the UK dealer for Keller. So um, with the amount of rain we get, mm -hmm. it's one of the biggest things that we will always look at. So any driving rain that um, is driven towards the, the glass or that gets into the tracks for whatever reason will drain through the base here onto a, a drainage block and then be forced out to the ex outside of the building so that you know you won't have any issues with yeah. water ingress. But equally, another change, we touched earlier on the, the current system using a brush seal mechanism. What you'll notice with these is it's a gasket solution. So you, have, you don't have that noise. It's a really smooth movement. You've got that gasket there to ensure that you've got that weather um, performance but you don't hear it and it allows that, exactly. that motion. I mean, a side effect, as, as I said, you have a lot of rain in the UK. Yeah. The existing series is up to 80, 85 kilometers per hour, wind speed plus rain tight. Yeah. This one goes up to 110 kilometers per hour. So yeah. it's 600 Pascal for the technicians among us. Yeah. Um, it's perfectly performing. Yeah. Now we have the gasket. We have no frame yeah. At the bottom, no frame visible in the ceiling, no frame visible at the sidelines. Just the interlock. Exactly. It's just the interlock. And it's so important. You don't, you're looking out 
often to a yeah, gorgeous yeah. view. You don't want anything yeah, yeah, in the way of yeah. that. So it's really important to just minimize that. So you've got a complete um, glass finish against mm. your floor finish. Okay. And so the glass finish is maybe also something which is requested in architecture for the interlock? Absolutely. So for the interlock and maybe even for the base, but this is a great example of that here, the glass interlock. So specifiers might not want to use the typical aluminium profile, in which case we can use this fin type detail with a really neat back painted section, which is clad, um, which is bonded to the minimal windows um, typical interlock and then you've got that completely transparent interlock mm -hmm. option there as well. So it's a glass fin option as well not to have opaque aluminium. Exactly. But of course you can also have the opaque aluminium integrated in this case yeah. with an LED. Normally it's an aluminium clip on site. Exactly. Other materialities you would like uh, to see? Yeah I mean all of the options are there with this. You can put any material really that you want on the end. Mm -hmm. The options are there. You can use the LED strip, you can use aluminium, or you could use other materials, for example, like oak. Okay. A slightly warmer toned uh, material. Um, so that's really, and really it, important. It's real wood finish, yeah. like in the furniture. Absolutely, yeah. 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 You might also look to use core 10 steel, steel or something like that. Carbon is an option. Absolutely. To put it on top of it. Yeah. This is a special, a special anodizing. Anodized. And this is the design line. I mean, when you think on Keller and see a Keller solution, there's one design line feature which is so important, at least to me. Absolutely. Which is our handle. Yeah. yeah. And that's the great thing. There's not many solutions out there where you can actually marry up all of these different options on a system that gives you that level of mm. transparency, but equally that matches the ironmongery as well. So the feeling of a handle, the feeling of the material, the feeling of how it moves is so important. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's one of the key things that Keller do very, mm. very well mm. is designing locks that feel nice and that work well and that perform well. Um, and I actually really like, on that note, this option here with the transparent um, backing to it, so that when you rotate the locking, you can see everything that's going on behind. Really, really nice. Lovely. And this is out of aluminium, massive aluminium, definitely yeah. can be anodized. Cortain steel, yeah. real cortain steel. Brass, real, real brass, brass which yeah. would really fit perfect to the oak, real wood finish. Absolutely, and you can imagine the way that this would yeah. wear over time. Exactly. It's Get an authentic some metal. Live, some patina yeah. on it. Absolutely. Stainless steel and special anodized. Yeah. But nevertheless, some architects dislike to have handles in the view at all. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Why not create a solution where you can completely hide the handle from the side? You don't see anything at all. So this solution is really, really neat. The handle sits completely flush with the frame. You press this button here, which pops out your handle when you want to open the door. Let me just move my hand round. And then you just literally rotate it like that to unlock the door. And then when you close it, rotate it back and just press that in really nicely and it sits completely flush with the frame. And that finish is in all colors, in all surface finishes for aluminium possible, also in all anodized colors. Yeah, absolutely. So pretty nice, I mean, I would say it's an exclamation mark. Having Emma with me today, having IQ Glass uh, from the UK, I was exclusive partner from the UK with us, giving yeah. us more as an introduction into the latest developments of a common partnership with new product developments done, ready to ship it to the market, ready to consult in the UK market and worldwide, yeah. together with the help of you, Emma, absolutely. SS Director yeah. and IQ Glass. No, absolutely. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thank okay. you. Emma, thank you so much for being with yeah, us. It's thank been you. all a pleasure and you thank did you it well. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Stay tuned and next time just pop up again on uh, our YouTube channel and you can see it anytime 24-7 to yeah. get again the charming introduction into the products from Emma. <laughs> thank no, you so thank much. you very much. Thank you.